Morning, um, uh, and once again, welcome to Taft City. Um, we've had quite a number of our clients and our followers who's been asking for an update of Taft City. That we haven't been doing the monthly updates. Uh, reason being that obviously um, Anita uh, is in Sierra Leone, permanently there now, and I shuttle between Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and the Gambia. So today I am here to give you an update to show you what it looks like now. It's in the middle of the rainy season and you can see how dry the place is. You can see the drainage all done. I would like to quickly show you that it's new, which is important to our clients. Today is security. We have here our security cameras. Around the city so far, there are nine security cameras and they are solar charged. So you can see the solar panel right on top of it. And then we have the monitors in the security room. So around the estate, apart from, aside from, you know, physically having uh, security guards around, we have electronic cameras everywhere. So the place is very well secured. I would like to also show you some of the facilities that we have here, something that is new. And that's uh, nothing other than the petrol station called Star Oil because this is the only petrol station along this axis. And it's a very modern one. So, so if you are living in Taft City, um, uh, you'll be pleased to know uh, that these facilities now exist. Good morning. How are we doing? Who is who? So how's business so far here? Uh, gradually, move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good come. Customers are coming up. Okay. Because they're real happy about our services. Well and done. quality for products. Well done, so well done. We all come here, thank you to them. And check. Our technicians will be here monitoring everything is in place to make sure that everything is in place. We want customer satisfaction. Excellent. Okay, the shop will soon be given to one of our partners who, who are running uh, some of our station stop. Upstairs, we are planning to give make it a restaurant. Okay, wow. Yeah, upstairs. So wow. that's why there is a kitchen, everything inside. It's this place. All right, okay. It's meant yeah. for an ATM. It's meant for ATM. Yeah, okay. But space for the shop. Okay, so that's the shop here. Yeah. Okay. And there is a the store. Okay, the store there. For, yeah, for the okay, shop. Okay, excellent. Okay. Sizable enough, huh? Yeah. To serve the people here. Here would be uh, okay. the restaurant. That's why you want to play a restaurant yeah. here. And there's a kitchen at that end. Okay. Yeah. Thank well you. done, huh? This office over okay. there. Okay. And there are toilets around. This is the staff office. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the bay. The loop bay, yeah. The bay, okay. And then the and car wash. Yeah, the car wash, yeah. So this one haven't started yet? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah, because the company is planning to take it, run it itself. Okay. Yeah, we have all the machines intact. We'll be changing oil and do other small uh, services. services, yeah. Well done, great yeah. job, huh? Taft City is located halfway between Brikama and Gunjur. So as I stand here, if you look east, East, that's where um, uh, Birkama is. Birkama is east of Taft City. And then west of Taft City, you have uh, Gunjur. And this is the main highway. So it's on the main highway. So really, if you're driving in the Taft City, you don't go off road at all. That's the nice thing about, about Taft City. You don't go off road. It's all tarred, as you can see. Nicely bituminized. At this time of the year, um, uh, we do a lot of maintenance. As you can see what these guys are doing now. Uh, this is uh, done so that we keep the place neat. All along the city, we've got this wide uh, drain. So uh, from this part of it, this far side of it, you have all the water being nicely drained. But when you get to this point here, 
one is a bicycle lane and then the other is a, is a pedestrian lane. So they are separated. If you're watching us for the first time, this is where our model is. So if you are a client wanting to buy, uh, you come in here. And the model actually is only one third of, of the whole development. Um, there'll be about 1,500 units here, plus all these um, uh, institutional and commercial areas. Now, in my experience here, I really have to give honor to uh, these young ladies who's been here for close to three years. They're doing all the upkeep of the gardening. At times I start work here at eight o'clock and by the time I come to start, they're already here. Really hardworking ladies. Yeah, so you see here, we're going to have the, the uh, zebra crossing. There, so you have to stop, slow down, and then we're going to paint it with the zebra crossing. This is all the commercial area. Everything in here in this cluster is commercial. The primary school there, the secondary school, um, uh, the private university will be here. And then now you will have the uh, Technical Training Institute. And then at the back of it, you will have uh, the, um, uh, the dormitory. All the infrastructure is already in place. Water and electricity. Electricity is on the ground, so it's all in. Lights are all solar, as you can see. We have all the solar lights. Huh? So at night, if you come here, it's all well lit. It's a lot of money. A lot of money, you know, has gone into getting the infrastructure first. And then after the second roundabout now, you have the gate. You know, then after the gate, you have now the, the residential estates. But let me first show you the factory because we, we, we produce everything that we need here. Well, at this moment, we are produce, We are doing production on interlocking. Wow. Yeah. And as so, you can see right now, I have... Um, five men on duty um, doing the production. Good, good, good. Yeah. So so you started today or you've... you've... We, it's today we started. With these two machines? No, only this one. Only, oh, you're only working with one? Only, I'm working okay, with right, one okay. because um, the, the manpower. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. We need another five people on that To one. work on that one? Yes. Sir. Which one is easier, this one or this one? This one is easier and it's faster. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. And you have more, you have more... Yeah. More, more production, huh? More production, yeah. And with this one, even four, four people, you can handle it. Okay, yes. so then, then we can now have even three teams now. Yes, not so. So now what, uh, what I decide is we we'll work on this one. Why is this one is getting cool? We, yeah, we, 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 we switch, switch over. This one. Yeah, 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 but yeah. if I have an, if I have ex more extra men, yeah, you, all yeah. of them will work at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the same guys can now work in here work, work in until here. it's hot. When is yes, we transfer. We transfer and work this right and, and stuff. Okay, yes. better. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hi, MD. I'm here. Hi, Anita. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good, so you are here now? Yes, I'm in Taft City, the Gambia. My favorite place in the whole Gambia. Wow, welcome, man. What was the last time you were, you were here in Taft City? It's been about eight months, believe it or not. Eight months. Wow, so your initial sight of it, what do you think of the place? I'm amazed, the greenery. It's raining right now, just like it is in John Bay, but oh my gosh, it's alive in Taft City. I love it, I can't wait to go in. Can I meet you wow. at the entrance? Yes, okay, so shall we go now? You wanna drive in? Yeah, I'm gonna come meet you. All right, I'll see you Okay, later. okay, come over, yeah. All right, see you. Whoop, Taft City, here we go, I'm back. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Woo! <laughs> so you know what, you know what, you, 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 you've marked even my, my seats, huh? Red, red, nice red. It's a tough way, it's a Don't tough way. Don't worry, when red. you grow up, you'll get a G over. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Another promise. <laughs> So I'm just thinking, okay, how many years now would you say Taft City? It's two years in, right? Yeah, about two years. Two yeah. years in. Two years. So when you started, this is exactly what you envisioned. This, yeah, this yeah, is what yeah, you saw. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, what is missing now, my vision really is um, uh, in the next five years. And as I drive now, if I close my eyes, I can see a lot of cars driving in and out. I can see, you know, people with bikes, you know, people walking around. Because the human element is not in yet. Yes. You know, that's what my vision is. You know what a I see? Be city. Mm. That's the Lord Micro City. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see now the boom walking, that's all electronic. As yeah. you come in, you're being cleared. You come right through there. You see? Yeah. So that works. Nice. You know, then that's the burn for, for residents. Residence. Nice. Yeah. So all of them work now. So, so what do you have here? Um, in these two bays, uh, for visitors and, and, um, and residents, they are covered, there's a canopy. Yes. So then, you know, if it's raining, you're under the shade. 
Now, there's a third one here. This third one. This one, as you can imagine, doesn't have any canopy. Mm -hmm. And the reason is that if you have a fire engine, God forbid, okay. but you, know, you don't have to make a provision, provision for it because it's high. Yeah. So that's the emergency gate. Okay. This gate will always be locked. Okay. And then you also, if you have, let's say, people packing in yes. with a container, yes. anything high, then you open this one here, this nice. third one. Nice. Have you seen this? Security cameras, that's new. Yeah, security cameras everywhere. And again, it's wow. solar charged. Tough City monitored by 24 hour video surveillance. Okay, so obviously this one is quite obvious, but we have a few that are hidden. They're hidden, yeah. Yes, so yeah. Tough City is completely safe. Yeah. Monitored 24 hour, and then you have all the monitors in there. Yes. So there's somebody in there looking at the screens, making sure we're safe. Yes. Great. But apart from that, also, like I have it on my phone. <laughs> you know, Bajan's on, on, on her phone. Yeah. And then the head of the security, mm -hmm. is also, he, he also has it on, on his phone. Mm -hmm. So for example, whenever I'm in Sierra Leone, I mean, I can see everything that's happening here. Don't so when anything. we install yours also, I'll see everything. I should have, I shouldn't have told Warning you. Warning site team, spy MD on knows you. if you're not here at 7 a.m. <laughs> He's checking on his phone. <laughs> Okay, so Anita, I mean, uh, since you left, uh, we now have, you know, somebody who manages the estate. And um, uh, she's the one who now lives with those that have moved in. Okay. But all the houses that they're handed over, that's the queen of Tough City. Hello. Hi, how Introduce you, yourself. Anita? My name is Constance Oguzier. Oh, nice yeah. to And the new manager now. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> right. yeah, so let's tell Anita what you do here. Oh, uh, so basically, I manage um, everybody here. Nice. So we have people already staying here. Okay. Um, so we manage their day-to-day -day activities. So if they have complaints, anything at all, they relate to us. And guess what? We use the app. Hi, five. I'm just gonna ask. You. So we're using the estate. So what is it called? Tough City app. The Tough City app. Right. So you're telling me that you sit upstairs mm -hmm. and the residents they use their phone and they say. Hey, Constance. Right. Wow. It's quite easy. They have complaints, whatever concerns they have. They put it up on the app and get a notification. And voila, they have their problem solved. And then you do resolved. Certainly. So we have whoever is in charge. Say you want a plumber, you want an electrician. All I have to just do is assign to the person who's in charge. And then they have the person at the door and get their problem sorted. We are very modern here. I like this. Right. Progressive. Right. So what I like about Tap City, every time I come, Something new is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Right. right. And it's the man himself. Ah. Right. But I have it's a team. It's a team. It's a... I have to say something. Okay. Mm. Can I just say, guys? Yeah. Right. Feces in the wrong colors. Oh, yeah. I'm the forte. Yes, yes, I'm yes. the forte. Next time I want to see a red, a red. public red color. I promise you. <laughs> have, have, have you noticed? Have you noticed what I'm wearing? Yes, I'm sorry. You, you, know. oh, you see, guys. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So, Constance, can right. I count on you to send me progress videos to update our viewers? One hundred. You're gonna take that roll on. One hundred. Well, show me by flashing the red next time. Okay. Right. <laughs> I will. I sure will. Thank you. Okay. Great. I'm gonna fill in for him. I promise you that. Great. <laughs> Yeah. You see, I'm being sent for, into retirement, right? right. <laughs> no. Yeah, so um, uh, last week actually I was here and I, I met quite a number of residents. Mm -hmm. And um, actually we're going to have a meet and greet, you know, for the residents that are here for now. That's lovely. Yeah, because the thing is, um, there's quite a number here, but they don't know each other. So we're going to treat them to some cocktail, barbecue, you're going to miss that. Oh, you know, so, um, so we're really so people, building a community. Yeah, but it's a community, it's yeah. a community, you know. Um, uh, but we have now found that there are some Africans who see Gambia so peaceful, which really is a plus. Yes, and they want to settle in the Gambia. We are now also seeing some African Americans mm -hmm. who think that their parents were, well, their great grandparents were taken away from here, what, 400 years ago, and they want to come back to their roots. We're seeing them coming back. We're also seeing people who are originally from the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. we've, been we've been living in the West. So now they're at an age where they want to retire, they want to raise their kids, you know, look at them some African touch. Yep. They want to settle here. So we cater for everybody. Here is Bena. Back in Bena, this is where Remember it Bena all started. Estate? Yes, yeah? the first one. But guess what, you know, you know the gates are also automated. Here as well. Yeah, Thanks. so so we can walk through, mm -hmm. But um, she's going to open the gate as if we're driving in. I know my viewers are going to be thinking this right now. Yeah. What about when the lights are off? 
Oh no, no, it's all solar driven. All solar power. Yeah, all solar Amazing. power. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. You see? Wow. Progress. So all automated. Nobody has to come and manually open them. Now we're going through uh, the pedestrian, obviously. Beautiful. And one thing I like about here when you come in are the butterflies. Yes. You know? Because well, of all the say flowers. What butterflies signify? Is it change and growth or? Uh oh. Austin? I'll throw it to the videographer. Oh, he doesn't know either. <laughs> Yeah. It's positivity anyway. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so the meet and greet is going to be a lot of people from here. Yes, I'm going to show you where we're going to host it. Go on. There's some people living in Dili also. And of course you're selling in Saba. So yes, we're now offer. selling Saba, yeah. Okay, that's good. We're selling Saba. And I mean, we have to mention the summer offer that you have. You guys have a Yeah, amazing, we have a, what, 10%? 10% off. off, that's offer, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So yes, anybody You have the same thing in Tough Salon, isn't it? Well, as our rainy season offer is a bit limited. Ours is a bit limited. Okay. Yes, we've, um, it's ended now. Oh, it's ended, okay. Yeah, but we have some good incentives if you're interested in Sierra Leone. But of course, in the yes. Gambia, 10% off till the end of September. Jump in now. You remember the first um, show house? Oh yes, of yeah, course. The Nafi. Nafi, Nafi, yeah. Nafi. So that's where we want to have the meet you and greet. You spend the night here. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. So, um, you see? The lawn is being well taken care of. So that's where we are going to host uh, the, the, the residents. We had our breakfast here. Yep, yep. Wow, this garden is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Guys, honestly, I'm just saying you could sit here yep. and really just, you can lie down here. It's really well really maintained. Nice. Really nice. Really, really good. And you see, again, the fruit trees, as always. Yes. You have it in, in Sierra Leone. Yes. Planted all the fruit trees. Yes. So you're gonna have some nice mangoes here, Gambian mangoes, Yum. guava, oranges over there. So as you know, on average, for every house that we build, we put in about five fruit trees. So, so 5,000 houses being programmed here will now earn us 25,000 fruit trees. So not only trees, but fruit trees. Well, the trees, thank you. <laughs> yep. <laughs>So you've seen residents literally come from the airport straight to Tafsir yes, yes. and move in. Yes, and move in. Wow. Actually, I've seen somebody who's been very brave, you know. She came with her family. She came with the um, um, husband and two kids, a boy and a girl, and they went straight into the house. From the airport? From the airport. Had they been to Gambia before? Never. First time in the Gambia, yeah. first time in Bandu Airport, and yeah. first time in Cap City, and they moved in. They the moved in. If you're interested in, in watching that video, we've interviewed her. Mm -hmm. So just click onto this link here. If you click onto the link, then you will watch it. So we'll hear it from her? Yeah, you'll hear it from the horse's mouth. Nice. But she was very, she's very brave. Well, I think that just shows trust in the brand. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes most definitely. Absolutely trusting the brand. Yeah. I mean, I always tell people that, look, like everything in life, you know, there are challenges. Mm -hmm. We've had our challenges. Yes. And we're not running away from it. Yes. You know, so we address our challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I just can't retire. Yeah. I mean, because people, I have people who's entrusted their lifetime savings with to me. You, yeah. So to be quite fair, you need to deliver. There's no excuse. All those that I've bought now, mm -hmm. All their houses should be ready by end of December. So when you do the meet and greet in December, you might have been a Didi and Saba. Yes, yes. Actually, we're notifying them now. So if anybody's planning any holidays, Stop. come over. Let's say that. Did you hear that? If you are planning on coming to the Gambia this December, you might be here for an exclusive meet and greet with MD Missandai. Yes. That means you can sit down with him. He loves grilled meat, so. Yes, so barbecue, <laughs> all drinks, and then we're gonna have the play area for the kids. Wow. So if you're planning a holiday, coming to the Gambia, 28th of December, you're gonna have an all day meet and greet. Right. And again, if you are sitting on the fence and you want to buy a property, just walk in. Anytime that you plan, please come and just book a viewing and you'll see what we have done. Perfect time you have to, to see it to believe it. That's right. Seeing yep. is believing. And meet the man himself, Mr. Guy. Yep. Here you go. <laughs> well, we have uh, our main um, uh, uh, transformer there. So um, from the um, main, from the um, high tension line, we drop the transformer and then it comes in. As you can see, you will not see any cables overhead here. Everything is on the ground. All nicely done. But I probably quickly, let me just show you what we've done here. 
we have a double wall for security. So, and then the drainage also, we have a drain that goes the perimeter of the city. So any water that comes from outside gets caught in the drain. You know, because again, here was a bit messy, so we've done some filling, we filled up the place. And, and then, you know, just plant it properly. And now along here, we're going to grow a lot of trees. So um, it's very futuristic. You need to know, or you need to really uh, look into the future. Uh, this place in the next five years, you're going to have a lot of people say, oh, I wish I came in. But then that's what happens with properties. You buy now and then it appreciates in value as years are clogging in. So this is where Ben ends and then Didi, that's the wall for Didi. But very quickly, you see, that's where our transformer is. So we have the mains coming in uh, from Nawek. You can see the high tension line over there. And then yes, obviously, this is the drain here. So we cut the drain from here. And here we're gonna line up all with trees. Now that's the boundary wall. So the boundary wall here, we're gonna raise it higher. And then now you have the, the inner wall in here. And this is all done for security reasons. And then the same thing applies at the back of Didi, as you see here. That's the back of Didi, you know, and you, you have, you know, and again, this buffer. So um, uh, what I'll do is, why don't I just walk through this drain and then follow me through, you see? So you've got a perimeter wall there and then you have, you have the, you've got the inner wall. And all here we're going to plant with trees. So the place will look really green and, and lost the green, actually really lost the green. Nicely done. So we, we're going to have a lot of um, uh, fruit trees. We, we plant more of fruit trees really here. You know, plant them all here. Because once you plant fruit trees, you are feeding the population. Huh? It's a bit humid because we're in the beginning of August when humidity is really high. But you can see the environment, you know, rain's really nice. Beautiful, huh? So we empty the drain actually on the other side. So we've got all these walls and the drain goes through here. So here we are, where, I mean, I mean, this is, this is now Didi. I didn't come from the main entrance, so when I go out, you will see it. You see, that's Didi. I'll just show you what we're doing now. We're putting the interlocking already. Getting ready to pave the place up. You have to. So please, as soon as you guys reach here, let's go back and cut fill everywhere. Remember now it's raining, huh? And it's to be well compacted, huh? And glad, you can get the grills and fix this one time, huh? So that all along here will be, will be done. You see now, interlock is being done in, in Didi. So if you bought in Didi, we're at the finishing stage now, as you can see. We're now getting things completed here. Ooh, I see somebody's got a little structure at the back that's clearly yeah, a modified yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. So all these bungalows are ready now. Okay. So we're doing all the finishes from this end and then out. So we're finishing from here all the yeah. way down. Here. Yeah. And this you said by December. I think we walk over now to, to Saba. Saba number three. So, um, uh, yes, we've got the um, bakery, restaurant, the sit-out area. That's coming up? Yeah, that's coming up. Wow. So, again, by December, we should have that ready. We'll just cross over. So, does that mean you'll be getting your croissants right here? So right here, City? right here. <laughs> and then this is where the play area will be. We have some, some um, kids play um, uh, stuff like swings, nice. slides. All will be in this center here. Okay. So, uh, you'll have kids to play here whilst parents are having, you know, a cup of coffee or you know, some drinks in here. So you're going to have a mini market too. Nice. Close to the development that's here already. God, it's so quiet in the yeah, Gambia. Yeah, very quiet, very quiet. Very quiet. Very quiet. So you see, that's the area, it's a start area, and then you get your basic groceries. Well, so they've already got a few customers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now, if you drive straight through, then you go to, to, to Baki. For those of you who's bought um, the... Um, uh, service uh, plots and now let me just walk through there and that's why we're opening up there i'll have to there let me just walk i mean it's just red and, and it's beautiful it's lovely um uh, they're just finishing up the fence over there so that we will now open this up to access uh backy so all this while it's raining we're going to clear them all up and then plant the trees put the lights up so i'll just stand here and point to it so, so directly over there, that's where Baki is. We're going to have Baki where the service plots are. So the fence is being done. 
You see the lush right is already in. The drains are all in here. So we'll plant all the trees, all the palm trees, and then to access back here. So, but in the meantime, let's head out to Saba. How are you guys doing? Not well done, huh? Ah, that's how they are here. I'm going to call now. Ah, Kasada leave, huh? Kasada leave. That's a lot of money, huh? Ah. Ah. So, we're going to have the Kasada leave, huh? <laughs> so as you can see here we've done all the lasurite ready to receive the interlocking blocks you know i just walk across the grass now and then you know because okay great because it's a bit muddy here so i don't want to walk on the mud it's, it's drizzling a bit so i'll do this very fast you see we've planted all these trees here uh, the umbrella trees to um, uh, start having the shade and again, you know, Saba is there. We haven't mounted the cameras yet, but we have um, uh, the security team already here. So you see, all this we have done, the services are already in, um, water, electricity. So we have the lights to put up and then the trees, put them all up. So this is Saba and Saba is done in different clusters. In the first cluster, as you can see, we're, we're now doing all the structural work, all done. So the next thing is we're going to move in and uh, have um, the finishes uh, by next month, I mean, uh, September. So we have September, October, November, by December, in the next four months, we have all these houses uh, finished and serviced. So, um, Anita, you've seen it all. What do you think? Um, I guess, okay, I'm going to use the word I've been using from the beginning. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It looks really good. I'm just really excited about Cerulean. Really so it's almost like I've had my own personal one-on-one -on -one viewing with you. Yeah. But anybody sitting at home thinking they want to come down and view, you can book an online or a physical viewing with the sales team. Literally, just drop an email, book your slot, and they will take you around and show you what we're doing in the Gambia. For those of you in Sierra Leone, let me tell you, there's so much coming to Sierra Leone. That's why I wanted to come and see it. And if we look through some of the footage from last week, Emily, yep. you're going to break it down, everything that's happening everything here. Everything happening here, so yeah. You tell me. What so that's think? it. Well, so for us, really, remember, we're trying to build one million affordable homes across the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing that we have done, done is that we have branded ourselves in such a way that wherever you go, you don't need to have any writing on any wall, any level, anywhere. The moment you see it, you know that it's a tough city. That's right. So in Sierra Leone, it's called the tough, tough um, Salon Micro City. Here, it's only tough city in the Gambia. But remember, in Nigeria, it's greater tough. It's not the greater tough because it's great. Yes, the numbers are there. But it is the PPP and the public-private partnership is with greater Port Harbor. That's right. So that's why it's called greater tough. Now, what we've also done, which you have seen, is that we've standardized our designs. So we have five standard designs that we build. They have different names in different countries because we want to be socially responsible. So in the Gambia, very quickly, you know, you have a Maria II. In, um, in uh, Sierra Leone, it is called the... Saleh. Saleh. And then in uh, the Nigeria, it's called the Charity. So it's the same house. Then the next one in Gambia is called the Hawa. And then no, in Haja, Haja, and then Hawa in Sierra Leone. Yeah, and then it's called uh, the uh, Favor. Favor in yes. Nigeria. The third bungalow here in Gambia is called the Majula. Sia. And Sia in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. And then Blessing in Nigeria. So there we go, those are the bungalows. And then the two story buildings or the duplexes. For now, it's only available in Gambia and Sierra Leone. In Gambia, one is called uh, the Binta, and it's called... Well, we have uh, Mabinti. Mabinti. That's right. Mabinti. So then uh, the biggest one, you know, the most luxurious one here is called the Nima, and then in Sierra Leone it's called... Fatima. Fatima. Okay, guys, let me see you away again. High five! High five! <laughs> Super Kanja time, yeah? Yes. <laughs>